I am Anwar Islam, uh, a forest specialist, University of Wyoming. I have a statewide forest uh, work and responsibilities as well to answer different questions about forest and forest production. So I, I do work uh, across the state uh, trying to find out the best species or best variety that can be grown in Wyoming conditions. So I have different trials in different locations. Uh, so in Laramie, I have different trials as well. I have tall face uh, line trials. We are trying to find out different drought and cold tolerant, very productive uh, perennial grass species. So we have 52 lines planted here in the irrigated condition versus we have dryland condition and trying to find out which one would be the best uh, for irrigated and dryland conditions. Then we have different legume research as well. For example, I have sand fine, alfalfa, uh, red clover, white clover, bars foot tree foil, so different kinds of legumes. We are trying to find our best species that can be grown in Wyoming conditions. Then also we have different grass style, for example, grass legume mix. So Dhruva is uh, one of my grad students, he's working uh, on uh, uh, grass legume mix style. So he can briefly tell a little bit about grass. I'm Dhruva, I'm a PhD student. I'm, uh, I'm doing my research on grass legume mixture to minimize the nitrogen need of the grass, uh, as well as improve the soil properties. Uh, I'm using the two grass species. One is made of room and the other is archer grass. And I'm using uh, a legume uh, as alpha alpha. And I'm, I'm using the uh, two crop mixer, uh, one grass and one legume, as well as the three crop mixer, two grass and one legume in different ratio. Uh, I'm using the 100% grass uh, 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 with the recommended dose of nitrogenous fertilizer uh, from urea. Uh, as well as I am using the 100% uh, legume and uh, I am using the different ratio of uh, legume and grass like the 25 grass, 75% uh, legume, 50% grass, 50% legume and 75% grass, 25% legume and my objective of this research is to assess the production uh, 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 between the different ratio of the grass and legume as well as to assess the forage quality uh, and, uh, uh, and which ratio, which treatment will improve uh, the soil property. And uh, at last, I will uh, assess the economics of the different ratio of the grass and legume, uh, which ratio uh, will be the cost effective. Uh, that's all about my objective. And I have one plot at Laramie uh, at the 4,000 feet level and one plot in the Lingle. Uh, uh, as well as I am doing my research in the greenhouse pot experiment and uh, uh, I have the 16 treatments all together and I am using the 5 replications inside the greenhouse and 3 replications uh, just in the field. Okay, that's all about my research. Thank you very much. Okay, my name is Matt Jolivet and I'm a master's student and uh, here at UW we're uh, always trying to expand our uh, tools in our toolbox for reclamation and uh, to be able to encounter some of the problems that we encounter in the state with harsh soils and harsh conditions, high altitude. And I work with uh, Forage Kochia and if you get the, this is uh, Forage Kochia, it's a brand new perspective tool for reclamation and um, we're trying to assess uh, whether Forage Kochia will be appropriate first and foremost for Wyoming soils and second of all what kind of uh, competition level does it have with uh, both uh, species that are beneficial as well as uh, weeds, common weed species. And uh, right now in the greenhouse I'm working with uh, Bromus tectorum or what we call cheatgrass and uh, growing it at different levels with uh, in combination with forage kochia and uh, seeing if it has any competitive effects either way. Um, currently I'm working with two lines, a line that's been available in the U.S. Uh, for a few decades now uh, called Immigrant and a new uh, new line called Snowstorm which was bred out of Utah and designed to be a little bit more leafy and have better forage uh, value and so uh, hopefully by the end of the next couple years we'll be able to give uh, 
some uh, recommendations for uh, planting and uh, practices for cultivating forage coach on drastically disturbed lands. Thank you. As you heard that uh, we have different kinds of research starting from legumes, grass, forest coccia, grass legume mix, monoculture of, of legumes and grass. So uh, within, within few years, hopefully we can get some very solid recommendation. What are the species? What are the varieties? What are the legumes really we can recommend that would be very suitable for our local climatic conditions? So if you need more information, uh, all this research are already reported in the uh, bulletin. So if you uh, have any other questions, so if you go through this bulletin, you'll see a lot of all this repo, all these grass and legumes has been reported here. So feel free and our contact address also there too. So if you have further questions, please feel free to call us or email us. We'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much.